All right guys, so today I'm gonna to be putting the uh, bucket seat on the Chevelle one seat because I'm just gonna try the seat out and see if I like it. I finally was able to get the bracket and the slider from Pro Car, so this is gonna be going to the Chevelle. Uh, I got this used on offer up for like 40 bucks or something like that, so I thought I'd try it. Which one's the worst, I can return all this stuff and sell the seat, so. I'm changing it because, well, I'm six foot three, and the bucket seat, I mean the bench seat has you sit up really high. I probably have like half an inch, and I, I kind of drive it like this, kind of slouched down, I'm kind of over that. So I'm hoping that the, uh, that new bucket seat, because it's such a, like a low, way, like, I mean, way smaller than this, it should hopefully make it better if that kind of makes any sense. But yeah, first things first is pulling this this bench seat out and then trying the uh, the pro car seat. And yeah, I have no idea how to put that thing together. So hopefully this doesn't take too long because I would like to drive this later today. Okay, so this thing is I think unbolted. So yeah, it is. So I'm gonna get my brother real quick and try to finagle this thing out and then. Probably clean it because I bet it's a little dirty and then start mocking up the new f f seat. Gonna clean a little bit and then start mocking stuff up. All right, so have the seat mocked up. Uh, surprisingly, went a little well. The bracket is kind of confusing, so I kind of I'll show you guys what I did. I don't even sure if I really have it on correctly, but it fits and everything kind of lines up. So I just got to take everything out and then put the drill the holes for these brackets. Which kind of cool about this is I have a I have a bench seat car, so I don't have the bracket for the for the for the bucket seats and normally what you have to do is weld in a bracket but luckily with these brackets all you have to do is drill two holes and it bolts up and it mounts pretty good and I fit way better so here I'll show you so yeah I fit way better I feel like I fit way lower uh, it's a lot more comfortable here with the steering wheel like there's actually space between me and the steering wheel and it just fits way better you know what I mean I'm, I'm really happy with this so I think I'm gonna run it uh, I don't know. I, I also kind of like where I sit because I can see over the over the scoopers before it was really high up But I couldn't see over the scoop so it was kind of annoying, but yeah, I think if it's pretty good now I think what I want to do is build a center console right here so I can have my my B&M shifter that I got and do all that stuff, but for right now, let me just uh, drill the two holes and mount this in for real for good all right, so yeah, like I was saying these brackets are pretty sick because they uh they bolt on and there's like no welding on so I need to drill two holes uh, I actually need to look underneath my car make sure it's not hitting anything and then should be good just drill some holes bolt that on and then just bolt the bracket to the seat so yeah okay so holes were all drilled out gonna throw some hardware through there and then mount the uh, the bracket to the seat and then throw the seat in there I think that'll be easier way to doing it and then that should be a seat installed done. The brackets are all in. Uh, one of them was kind of a bitch to put on, but it all fit pretty well. So now four bolts and that should be it. All right, so all installed and bolted in and it's not going anywhere. So very happy with these seats. Let me show you how I fit. Yeah, I'm sitting in here. I'm really happy with the way I sit and how far away from the steering wheel. And like, I've never really been able to extend my legs in this car. And I am now, and I'm able to go full open throttle, and yeah, it's really nice. If you're looking for an inexpensive seat, I would definitely check these out. The brackets are really sick too, because they're just super simple. This honestly took me an hour to install. I know it's getting dark, but I also did this install late. Um, but I think I'm gonna get a matching seat, because I'm really happy with these. So yeah, I've all of a sudden been re-inspired to be driving this thing again. I think I'm just missing my truck and driving an old car in general, so been driving this thing a lot more I've actually here's a little sneak peek for a video maybe in a couple months uh, depending on when it gets done but I have removed the filler panel and I'm gonna be moving the uh, the kill switch to the bumper uh, for a little secret project if you follow my Instagram you already know what's up but it's finally happening so probably gonna go drop by drive off 
oh shit. Probably gonna move this switch another day because I don't really want to drill the bumper, but yeah. Uh, sorry, haven't really been making videos since I've come back from LS Fest. Uh, life's just been really busy, and honestly, nothing's really happened in my life with cars at least, so just kind of waiting. But big stuff with the turbo stuff coming. Uh, so stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.